what's up everyone? Mike here, coming at you from the Mushroom Lab, and look at this. I got some Cocoa Core and some Verm I just prepared. Did a big batch of it actually, so I'm going to show you guys today how I like to make big batches of bulk, contamination-free Cocoa Core and Vermiculite. So we're going to talk about this a little bit. Also, I've been real busy on the farm, making liquid cultures. Got all sorts of genetics here, loaded all these up today, loaded up a bunch more I got over there, been shipping them out. And I just want to say if any of you guys are looking for some awesome mushroom genetics to grow your own mushrooms, just like my Yeti string, my Lion's Mane, or my Blue Oyster, you can head over to my website. I've got that link down in the description box below, and you guys can pick up all your liquid cultures over there. And I'll tell you what, I just want to thank everybody who has put in orders for my liquid cultures over these last few days and the preceding weeks. It means a lot to me. It's just you guys support me, investing in me in the channel. And I do my best to provide good content and good cultures for you guys. So I just want to thank all of you. But anyway, on to today's video. We're going to be talking about, like I said, Cocoa Core and Verm. Making sure we got it contamination free. There's a lot of different ways to prepare this, okay? Now, I'll just say I've been working with this for almost a decade now. I've used lots of Cocoa Core and Vermiculite. And I like to cook big batches of this too, just to be efficient for myself. So... I'm very experienced farming. I just want to say too, if you're new to this channel and you're just now tuning in and you haven't already clicked that subscribe button, make sure you click that subscribe button so you get more mushroom and farming videos like this in the future. But anyway, let's talk about how I like to prepare this. So what I like to do is I mix my cocoa core and my verm 50-50, okay? So this is just 50-50 core and verm. And then what I do is I just hydrate it, bring it up to field capacity like normal. And if you don't know what field capacity is, check out my video on how to make mushroom substrate. I'll actually link that down in the description box below so you guys can all check that out. But I show how to test field capacity just with like a squeeze test. But that's all I really do for my cocoa core and my verm. And I basically, I mix it up a couple different ways. I either mix it up in like a tote, just doing kind of like smaller batches. I actually do have one of those like big Chinese batch mixers but I haven't been using it here on my new farm yet, but I used it a lot in the past in my previous farms. And I'll just say, if you're doing big batches of core and verm, those batch mixers are really nice. It can make it really uh, nice and easy and efficient. And there's a lot of different methods out there how guys prepare their core and their verm. And I'll just say, there's a lot of guys that'll tell you that this is overkill what I'm about to tell you guys, but I'll just tell you, it is contamination free, okay? When I see people online posting up like, I got contam or whatever, this tech doesn't work. I'm telling you right now, this tech is flawless, okay? The cream of the crop! So, I like to use atmospheric steam sterilization to steam my blocks, and that's how I steam my core and my verm. Some people just dump boiling water in it and different things like that, and. Uh, loaded in a cooler. There's all sorts of different ways to do it. And there's no right or wrong way, but what I'm just going to share with you guys today is how I like to do mine and what I feel is the best way that will be contamination free. Even though you might have to work a little harder for it, it's worth it. And you might be like, Mike, well, how contamination free are we talking? Well, guys, I'm just going to say I've filled up like well over 200 of these core and verm bags at a time in a steam system like I'm going to show you guys, inoculated them and had zero contamination. Like, that's how good you can make it, okay? So, zero contamination out of doing like 200 of these time and time again, okay? So, not just like I did a couple bags or, you know, I had a grow kit, like, I've done hundreds of these. So anyway, let's take a look at the setup. Okay guys, so this is my steam tank right out here. So, I'm gonna show you guys just a couple shots of this thing. I've got some insulation on the top of it. And I've got this tank just full of cocoa core and uh, verm bags. And then I've got some of my bulk um, master's mix, like uh, soy soybean hole and sawdust bags right underneath that cocoa core and verm. But this is how I like to do my bulk core and verm setups, all right? So let's go ahead, let's just take a look inside here. Okay, you guys, so I'm just showing you right here kind of like what I got going on. This is just a big trough I use, and I put some plastic over the top of it. This is that six millimeter plastic that you just get in big rolls. I bought it by a roll, it was about, uh, 20 foot by 100 foot roll and then you can see I just got a ratchet strap on here Okay, uh, that's all it takes and it gets a nice little kind of seal on there just enough at least and this is hot right now guys Like super hot. I don't have um, my infrared temp gun, but it would be like around 200 degrees or so um, You could expect uh, the top of this to be very hot. So be careful I've got it. Like I said, I got it cooking right now. I cook this whole trough for about 36 hours just to be safe 
You could get by with a little bit less if you really wanted, but I do uh, 36 hours normally in a full trough like this. Now you can see I got some insulation right here, and this is just to keep in the heat. It gets super cold out here in Colorado. You may not need to do that um, for your setup, but that's what I do here. And anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take this off. I'm just gonna remove this just so you guys can see the bags underneath there and what I got going on. Well, okay guys, here's what the inside of the tank looks like. And these little bags here, these, these are 14 A's and you can see that is my core and verm in there. And then over here, that's my master's mix. Okay, so this is a master's mix bag. So you guys can see the difference there. But I had, I ran out of core and verm when I was doing the load. So I just decided I would go ahead and fill it up with master's mix the rest of the way. But you can do it however you want. You could fill up your whole tank, you know, obviously with corn verm. I've cooked about, I don't know, 240, 250 corn verm bags at a time. Uh, several times these tanks, they do absolutely great. But this is how I like to make sure we get it nice and sterile and then that we're able to grow mushrooms on it. All right, everyone, so that's my atmospheric steam setup. I just like to do it in a trough there. I've got a big 55 gallon drum. I've converted into a boiler to basically supply steam to my trough, but that's how I like to make core and verm bags in bulk. And I'll say if any of you guys have any questions on this process or this whole procedure, you can go ahead and just drop it down below in that comment section. I'll be sure to answer all your questions or help you out as best as I can. You can also go ahead and look back at some of my previous videos and see how I've actually made that boiler. I've made it super low tech, really simple. I even talk about the electrical wiring and the power supply that it takes to actually run that electric boiler and steam that big trough. So go ahead and check that out. But I just wanna say hopefully you guys all found this video helpful and informative. And if you did, please drop this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But that's all I got for you on this one and I'll catch you guys on the next one.